HBridge is excited to have you visit our Half Dome Village Boys Town Campus in Yosemite National Park. HBridge offers many different types of programming in Yosemite. The following is typical of a Sunday arrival in Half Dome Village Boys Town. What you see here may not be exactly how your first day unfolds. The operations manager will be able to give you more specific details as your schedule is finalized. As your group enters Yosemite Valley, they will see many of the vistas that have contributed to Yosemite's fame including El Capitan, Yosemite Falls, and Half Dome. As you approach Half Dome Village, please do not go to registration, but instead direct the driver towards the Nature Bridge office, which can be found on the north side of the large Half Dome Village parking lot. The office is housed in a wooden cabin and is displaying a clearly visible Nature Bridge sign. A staff member will come to greet your group and give important information, including where to unload luggage, where students and chaperones will meet for the orientation, and where you, as lead chaperone, will meet the site manager. Once luggage is unloaded, one of our educators will gather students and chaperones for an orientation where they will discuss important Half Dome Village and Boys Town rules, logistics, and safety concerns. While students and chaperones are involved in their orientation, the site manager will invite you into the Nature Bridge office where, with your help, they will collect and fill out all required paperwork, explain weekly program logistics, discuss risk management issues, and answer any questions you might have. The site manager is going to be looking for your paperwork including the registration health screen and participant agreement, the chaperone agreement, and the volunteer service forms. Please be sure to have these three forms in separate piles and in alphabetical order. It is important that we receive a registration health screen and participant agreement for each participant in our program. A parent must sign and date for each student on the program. All chaperones 18 and older can sign and date for themselves. Each chaperone must also complete a chaperone agreement form. Many find the volunteer service form to be confusing. Have parents do their best and at the very least have them fill out the parental consent box. We'll ask that you look over your child group medical and dietary alerts form and if necessary make adjustments to reflect any last minute changes. We're going to confirm that you are delivering a completed and signed registration form for each participant and that you've listed all medical alerts, conditions, health concerns, allergies, and or medications on the trail lists you provided. For your rooming list, we're going to ask that you make adjustments to reflect last minute changes and assign cabin numbers to your cabin groups using a detailed map of Boys Town as reference. We'll have you sign a copy of your program's invoice. The site manager will conclude the meeting by handing you several items. A bucket of cabin keys which are separated into envelopes and marked with cabin numbers. Wristbands which allow for access to meals. Placards, which are to be hung on cabin doors so that, in an emergency, we can easily identify where each group is housed. And a folder full of useful information, including your program schedule. The site manager will also let you know of your assigned breakfast and dinner times. After your meeting, it's time to move into cabins. Depending on availability, your group may be assigned to either tent-style or hard-sided cabins. Aside from lunch, which will be provided while in the field, all meals will be served in the Half Dome Village Dining Pavilion. Due to the complexities of serving large numbers of participants, we will ask that you do your best to be on time. Keep in mind that, though the Dining Pavilion is housed in Half Dome Village, it will take your group about six minutes to walk there from your cabins. For your first meal, the Dining Pavilion Manager will give a short orientation to your group serving procedure and cleanup, safety rules as well as instructions for participants with allergies and special dietary restrictions will be covered at this time. You will then be directed to your group's pre-reserved tables and when food service is ready, the manager will release tables to join the buffet line. The buffet is all you can eat and has many options. Students will be encouraged to only take what they think they can eat and if still hungry after finishing, return for seconds. The site manager will be available and plans to check in with group coordinators at each breakfast and dinner. The site manager's table will be centrally located and clearly identified by a sign. After dinner, it's time to walk back to cabins and prepare for the evening activity. Your first night's scheduled activity will depend on a variety of factors including the day of week your program begins. If arriving on a Sunday, you will most likely be walking to the auditorium in Yosemite Village 
where we will show a one-hour program including a Welcome to Nature Bridge PowerPoint presentation and a short movie about Yosemite. We make vows. Keep in mind that this walk is about one and a quarter miles one way and it will take the average group 30 to 45 minutes to complete. Once there, we will show one of two 25-minute award-winning movies, The Spirit of Yosemite or Gathering of Spirits. And for the presentation, we'll cover a variety of topics, including what Nature Bridge is, the history of Curry Village in Boys Town, and how to best respect wildlife while living there. Your group will hear from the safety officer who will speak about their job and review important Boys Town safety concerns. After the program, your group will walk back to Boys Town where they will know that quiet hours begin at 9 p.m., everyone needs to have brushed their teeth and be in their cabins by 9.30 p.m., and all lights are out with no more talking at 10 p.m. I hope you've found the information in this video to be helpful. If you still have questions, please send them to Yost Operations Manager at naturebridge.org.